All right, starting off our finally Friday with the shit that'll make your ears bleed. HacksRadio.com, the stream the FBI look listens to, and it's time for the lulls. Time for that Friday edition of the Hacker News. Good Lord, uh, where do we begin? Well, let's start off with a DDoS attack from Team Poison, except for this time it was against phones. I tried to hack a group. Team Poison said they targeted counterterrorism officers at M16 with a barrage of phone calls for a period of 24 hours, which meant nobody else could get through. By using a cleverly developed script, the hackers were able to make calls to the agency's offices for 24 hours nonstop basically launching a phone-based denial-of-service attack. The script is based on Asterix software and uses SIP protocol to phone, Trick told Hacker News. Every time they pick up the phone, the server would play a re- ro- robot voice, rather, uh, which said, Team Poison. It said the attacks were motivated by the recent decision at the European Court of Human Rights that said uh, Bebar Ahmad and Adele Abdel and other suspected terrorists could be extradited to the United States, according to a Huffington Post report. Trick also released what he claimed was the audio of the moment, uh, called the number, and spoke to M16 officers personally. Now, that's all funny as hell, but then the next headline we get because of this is two from Team Poison arrested in M16 hotline phone attack. Police in the U.K. have arrested two teens as part of the investigation into illegal recordings of conversations on Scotland Yard's anti-terror hotline, which were later posted on YouTube. Two teenage boys aged 16 and 17 have been arrested in West Midlands in connection with an investigation into reports that hackers accessed Scotland Yard's anti-terror hotline. The hackers claim to have carried out cyber attacks in response to the alleged detention of innocent people on terrorism charges and the recent ruling to deport a number of terror suspects to the United States. So there you go, Team Poison cracking away. Good Lord, what else is going on? Uh, let's start off with some malware. Legacy native malware and Angry Bird space to own your Android. New malware threatens phones and tablets running on Google's OS by hiding inside a copy of the popular game. Researchers at the mobile security from Lookout identified the reworked malware as Legacy Native, or Lana which poses as a legitimate app to gain authorized privileges on Android phones. So all you Android phone geeks, don't be playing any Angry Birds unless you know what you're doing. And then what else here? Okay, even easier to get passwords now thanks to Extreme GPU Brute Forcer developed by Inside Pro, a program meant for the recovery of passwords from hashes of different types utilizing the power of GPU, which enables... Uh, reaching truly extreme attack speeds of approximately 450 million passwords per second. Good lord, hacking and cracking, running wild. And one more headline to tell you about. Looks like uh, unconfirmed reports that Iran will be coming out of the Internet. Iran replacing Google and Hotmail with its own internal search engines and email services. That's an unconfirmed report, but course they're going to keep Iran in the headlines all across the board so that everybody can hate them right right isn't that how it works that's the hacker news for this Friday much love to Mr. E and the crew over at hacksradio.com we'll see you again on Monday sure there'll be something to lulls around about